Hi, I'm Ryan Michael Galloway, and you're at We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company dot com. That's the uh, the home of the uh, oh, uh, we'll just call it the aggressively independent musician. And uh, uh, we're all about giving you uh, information, news you can use uh, to further your career as an independent musician. Right now, we're in a section called Get Your Gear, and we're talking about uh, oh, a little bit of the technical side of the equipment that you get, uh, particularly your PA and lights. And tonight I'm going to jump off on kind of a, a scientific, uh, you know, uh, foray here for just a minute, if you can put up with it. And I want to talk about phase cancellation. What is it? And why does it matter to you? Why does it make any difference? Well, it matters in a couple different ways, and we'll talk about how it affects a PA's setup later. But tonight, I would pose the question, if you were in a room that did not echo, an anechoic chamber, and you were able to have a violin on the left-hand side of the room and a violin on the right, and they bowed exactly opposite from each other, and the strings vibrated away from each other on the same note, and you were able to get your ear in between those two, what do you think would happen? Well, the short answer is you would not hear a sound. Those waves in opposition to each other would technically or theoretically cancel each other out. Uh, why does that matter? Well, the sound rolls off your stage and out of your PA system and it goes back and it hits the back wall and the corners and that kind of thing and it reflects back. And the places where it hits the wall and begins to reflect back at any given point, depending on the length of those frequencies, whether they're short and they're very high or they're long and they're very low, which almost never cancel out, so you don't have to worry about those. But anyway, they wash against each other, they cross each other, and certain par parts of the sound uh, either disappear or sound accentuated. And it's very difficult to predict what's going to happen there. So let me ask you if you've ever had this happen. Have you had somebody come up to you at, after a gig and say, the PA system sounded incredible tonight? And then maybe somebody else at the same gig said, ah, it just sounded awful, it was muddy, I couldn't hear you, etc. Well, the reason is that uh, they weren't sitting in the, the sweet spot, the people who are complaining about the sound. That sweet spot is an oval that, you know, is, is kind of a, sits, plops down in the middle of your room about um, a third of the way back from the, the, the stage, all the way to maybe two-thirds of the way back from the stage, and a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right, if you're in that oval, that sweet spot, you can hear pretty good. If you're outside of it, who knows what's going to happen. So before you go bust the chops of your sound person, the first question you ask is, uh, okay, uh, where were you sitting? And if they were outside that sweet spot, uh, you can say, well, thank you very much. I'll talk to my, my engineer. But don't bother because they're not giving you any feedback that any of you can use. If you've got a problem and they're in the sweet spot, then you know there's an issue. Well, I hope you learned something. And uh, I am Ryan Michael Galloway at We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company.com. Hope you'll be back. We'll have another installment tomorrow night. Take care.